now. Who you heard the song? Now. says I do have a question it's about underlying anxiety that tells me to do the deeper I go within the stronger the deeper I go within the stronger the anxiety and distractions become how to move through this distraction without being led by it just let it be or ignore it in a way this is this is what I was saying to the earlier one also the deeper you go within the more sometimes a sense of fear will come you see and the fear is about the unknown about death about living in limbo about being lost you see? and and uh, this will be transcended you see? stand your ground stand your ground of the notionlessness stand your ground in the unborn and this will be transcended This is just the withdrawal symptoms of the of the addiction to our limited identity. And as we let go into the unspeakable, the ineffable reality, you see, this is just the withdrawal symptoms which will come and say, but what are you here? You are nothing. You are lost. Stop following this guy. <laughs> you see, you're getting nothing. At least with the mind you were making something out of your life you had a plan you see? all of these things even if it was a bad plan at least there was a plan <laughs> here he's saying let go let go let go what are you going to get he doesn't even tell you that <laughs> you see? so it is a bit of an unfair bargain to the mind but i don't want to give you a fresh prison you see, I don't want to give you a fresh set of chains to tie yourself up with. So I don't want to give you any promises. You see, I can just say that through my master's grace, letting go happened here. And I've never said, give me back what I had before this. You see, that's all the reassurance. I want to give you. you see? When when these feelings or these sensations are, are seem too scary, when there is no space to look, then it's okay. Then just forget about it. Go through it. You'll be fine the next day. You see. Uh, but when there is some space that you can look, then you may want to invite yourself to look in this way and say, how much? of my space do these do do these sensations take and what happens there is that your attention starts to look around a bit rather than just being fixated at those sensations you see it starts to look around a bit and see look at the container of that sensation and if you give yourself this invitation and you have the room to check in this way then you may find that the, this room has no boundaries you see so now no matter how big that sensation may seem you see it is just a function of how fixated your attention is on it you see because your being is limitless there is no boundary to it you see in fact this entire universe which itself doesn't have a boundary shows up within your being so how can your being have a boundary so and this will become your true insight that you will see that many times I make this example I say if I make a if I'm I didn't ask for you <laughs> so so if I make a dot on the wall and um, it's a black dot on a white wall and I ask most of you what do you see you say you say yeah I see it I see the black dot. You see? What else do you see? No, is there anything else? Black dot, father. I don't see. No, it's just black. You see? 
and I say, but what about the wall? <laughs> That's what happens with these sensations also. As they show up, because they show up and we sort of programmed to do that, we feel like that's all there is, but we miss the substratum, the surface on which these sensations are arising. And once you once you learn, you see, once you learn to not be so fixated with what is showing up, you see, and you're just living in that pure observing, pure perception, then you will see that this is nothing. You see, all these things can come, but what is it to my being in which this entire universe comes and goes and it's not just me saying that Ashtavakra said you are that boundless ocean in which the arcs of the universe is, they come and go see? so even if you feel like this one is lying then <laughs> Ashtavakra I'm certain was not lying well he is at the ultimate level <laughs> but provisionally not lying see? so why would he say such a thing that you are that boundless ocean in which the arcs of the universe comes and goes. You see? How far is that definition from this definition that I am a mere flesh bucket? You see, I am a mere flesh bucket who gets shaken by mere sensation. It's very far, isn't it? And I am not saying that to make anyone feel guilty or something like that. I am just saying that to try and broaden your perspective. You see? What is true? Explore that. You have some very different definitions. No? One is that you are the boundless ocean. One is that you are this bundle of food that you've eaten. You see? This bundle of food that you've eaten. These are very drastically different representations. So the exploration now is up to you. Which one could you be? You see? Which, which one could you be? What is truer about you?